Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. And in today's video, we will understand a machine learning problem about loan approval. I hope you have seen ads of mobile application that lands loan in just few seconds. So obviously they are using this kind of machine learning solution to, you know, approve a loan of a candidate in instance. So let's take a look in that kind of problem today. Before we move forward, I would like to shout out for a guy called Aswin Tech Guy. And actually I have seen his video and his work and based on his work, I have developed this video. The data set we are going to use here is available on Kaggle and the link for it is in the description of this video. And once again, the code used in this video is available on my GitHub and the link for it is in the description of this video. So let's get started. So I have opened the repository in my Visual Studio code and I have created a virtual environment. So you can create a virtual environment with Python hyphen M V E N V that is my virtual environment package name and let's say my V E N V. So this is my virtual environment name. When I hit enter, it will create a folder like this. Once the virtual environment is created, you can write source name of your virtual environment in my case V E N V. So V E N V bin and then activate to activate the virtual environment you can write pip install hyphen r and then file name where you have all the list of packages so it is in requirements.txt so i'll hit enter it will install all the required dependencies in the virtual environment okay and I have created a train underscore model dot ipy notebook and I have selected the same virtual environment as its kernel. I have written a small uh, description of the data set we are going to use. So here it is and there is a link for the data set and the original work as well. So the first thing we are going to do is we will load the data set and for that since we have a CSV file. So the file train.csv is here and it is available on the GitHub as well. So you import pandas and then read the CSV file. Now, first thing we are going to do is we will analyze the data set, the head and the tail and the describe method and then info method. So you can see we have a loan ID, then gender of the applicant, marital status, number of dependents, then education, uh, whether the applicant is self-employed or not, then applicant and co-applicant income, then uh, loan amount, how much he's asking for, and then loan term, and then credit history, whether the applicant has a credit history or not, then property area, and the final, our target is loan status. So, here you can see there are a couple of uh, numerical variable and couple of uh, categorical variable as well. And I can see there are NAND values. And also I can see that dependent has uh, strings or uh, non number characters. So it's a kind of a string. So it is, I'm, I'm, I consider it is considered as a uh, categorical variable. Let's describe the numerical columns. So you can see we have kind of a five numerical columns and they have uh, missing values. So we will filling that missing values as well. Let's just see the information on data set. Okay, we have missing values. And uh, most of the columns are object this is int and some others are float okay so let's see the null value sum 
So let's first fill the NA values. In order to fill null value in categorical variable or categorical feature, we will use mode command. And for numerical column, we will use median command. So the one way to fill all the NA values is to, you know, uh, go and use separate features and then run command for separate features like this for example for this categorical gender feature and for loan amount we can use uh, separate cell to run the command as well otherwise uh, the best way or you can say the good way is to you know first copy the data frame into another data frame and then do all the operation on the copied data frame so in case you need uh, the original data set or original data frame, you can have it. So I'll do the same. Let's check the null sum again, just for confirmation. Yeah. So I have written a function fill any values. So what it does, it loop over all the features and the null value sum is greater than zero. In that case, it look for uh, the type of the feature, whether it is object or numerical if in case of object it will fill the n values with more and in case of numerical value it will fill it with the median of that feature so i'll run that okay so hopefully it run well let's check the sum of all null values so you can see it's zero for all the features now i have mentioned that there was a dependent variable or dependent feature which which actually is numbers but has some unwanted characters and that's why it becomes string so let's make it um, make it make it a numerical feature and you know just uh, remove all the unwanted characters and we will hopefully turn into int 64 so i'll import regular expression and i'll write a function which will take a value and it will apply regular expression on it and uh, all the non number character will be replaced by empty string so let's apply it on the dependent variable and you can apply a function on a column by apply function and just providing the uh, function name without the parenthesis so let me run this let's just change the type of the variable to int 64 now let's visualize the features and for that i'll use seaborn and matplotlib so let me import that uh, since i'm going to run a function and you know uh, create plot of each variable or feature so that's why i'm going to drop this lawn id uh, so what I do here is I loop over all the features and if the feature is object then I do a count plot and if the feature is numerical I'll use the distribution plot. So let me run this. It will take some time but it will create all the graph in just one go. So you can see we have gender. Most of the gender are male. Then marital status. Most of the applicant you can say more than 50% are married then count plot on dependence since we have you know changed it to uh, numerical column you can see most of like more than 50 percent has zero dependent and some few has three plus dependents as well uh, on the education side all the applicants are graduate and on the self-employment you can see all the uh, applicants are not self-employed so they are working for some other people and if you see the distribution plot of applicant income you can see it is skewed so we can you know normalize it to a bell sap curve again for the co-applicant income as well and loan amount and uh, loan amount term as well we can you know uh, normalize it as well then credit history most of the user has credit history a few has not any credit history uh, then property area um, 
it's a fairly you know uh, normal distribution for all the three types of the categories and in the end we have launch status uh, you can say 400 plus is yes and around like uh, 200 uh, not approved so you can say it's two to one ratio for the approval so <coughs> now let's move to the next step here we will use label encoder to encode all the categories categorical variables or features into numbers so let me import that uh, let me so what i do here i loop over all the features and if the feature data type is object then i'll use fit transform to transform that feature into numbers let's see the head of the data frame so you can see gender, uh, marital status, education, self-employment, then uh, yeah, these columns and property area and loan status as well. So these features now converted into number. So what I'll do next is I'll import the train and test plate uh, logistic regression for just getting started with a machine learning model and then F1 score for you know our accuracy measure and so let me import this so what we'll do here is that we will drop launch status uh, for x and we'll take launch status for y and then we'll train test split these x and y into x train x test y train and y test so let me run this so here i have created a function which will take a model, uh, it will fit X train and Y train, it will predict on X test and check the F1 score on X test, uh, sorry, Y test and Y predict. So let me run this. So let's first run the um, logistic regression model with max iter to 500. So you can see we got around 87% of F1 score and let's run the same data frame on random forest classifier so we got around 85 percent you can see logistic regression is working well in this case so now if i look the head of the data frame you see uh, the first thing we can apply on uh, the data frame to improve the score is you know make the distribution of the numerical column uh, normal so for applicant income then co-applicant income loan amount and loan amount term this can be you know um, normalized second we can create another features for example applicant income and co-applicant income so we can combine add this two and create total income of the applicant for the loan so these few simple uh, tricks you can apply to improve the score but the overall methodology is same first you just see the what what features you have then you fill the null values okay then you visualize the features and see what's happening there for example you check the distribution of the uh, numerical column so in case let's say we have a very high unbalance in the loan status then you can use uh, you know cross validation to improve the score as well and then we will you know fill all the categorical variables and convert them into numerical variables using level encoder uh, there are other methods you know uh, creating dummies as well um, and then we will test uh, uh, split the data into train and test and then perform the prediction so i hope this has given you a fairly you know clear idea about the steps you want to perform on a data set to you know uh, you know predict the labels you can say classification but you know it doesn't matter if it's a classification or regression problem the steps uh, are you know fairly same for all kind of problem 
so i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you like my work then please consider subscribing to my channel thank you for watching see you in the next video peace